So every single bass anyone ever catches has to come down to the hook at some point. That's the only way to get the bass in the boat. So today we're gonna to talk about which hooks I keep in my boat. This is my entire hook box right here. Every hook that I keep in my boat all year long is in this box. And right now, it's not that organized. So y'all be able to see exactly how it is kind of at the end of the season. So I'm waiting on, I'm actually getting some new boxes, new hooks, everything ordered in. And I'm going to kind of reorganize everything before the season starts. But for right now, we'll take y'all through exactly what's in this box. So again, if y'all haven't seen these before, I've had these on my boxes since the very beginning. These are High Waters Creations Tackle Tags. That's what these labels are that I have on my hooks. You see I have them right here on the front. And we'll just kind of walk y'all through the hooks that I keep in my box. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is kind of the way that I keep my hooks. I organize them based on the actual type of hook it is. So I've got my straight shanks right here. I've got some worm straight shanks right here. I've got, well, I don't even know what all I've got. I got offset round bins. I've got offset round bins. I've got, these are my drop shot stuff. These are my tungsten weights. And I've got all kinds of stuff in here. But for the most part, it's gonna be these top two little corners right here are gonna be most of my hooks. And you can see this right here is what came out of one compartment. And look at how many hooks is in here. There's like, I don't know, 15 four alt Gamakatsu flipping hooks in here. There's like 15 four alt G power Gamakatsu hooks in here. And then there's like 10 three alt heavy cover worm hooks in here. And then there's like 15 three alt tournament grade wire finesse flipping hooks in here so that's how many hooks i keep in one compartment and i keep them in these little bags like this so i ordered a lot of these bags like this that i used to i used to order some tungsten weights that came in bags like this and i started ordering them off amazon in bags just like this to keep all my hooks in i feel like it's the best way to keep my hooks as dry as i possibly can and keep them as organized as i possibly can so i know if i'm looking for something and right now i might have to look for it a little bit longer than normal but just say for instance i wanted a four alt g power gamakatsu hook i know they're going to be in this top compartment i know they got a purple packaging in the back and i can go in here get me a new hook out it's going to be in perfect shape every single time no rust at all and then i will tie that on and go on to the next and then go on to back to fishing digging for me a soft plastic or whatever i'm trying to do so in my boat there's one type of hook that i do not ever keep and that's the ewg the only thing i use the ewg for is a top water reeling frog and whenever i'm throwing that i've got some of these let's see gamakatsu super lines hooks with a spring this is the exact one that i throw whenever i'm throwing a top water frog that's just you know you just wind across the, the top of the water that's the only ewg style hook i keep and i keep this if i'm throwing a swim bait on it or stuff like that in vegetation this is the hook i'm going to throw but i have been kind of experimenting a little bit with throwing this on a straight shank hook and i've actually had some pretty good success with it i'm not sold 100 percent yet that's the best application for it but i've had some pretty good success just throwing it on a straight shank so kind of the only time that i keep an ewg style is you know whenever i'm like i said reeling something across top of the water like a skinny dipper or like a top water toad that you you reel so i keep some centering pins in my hook box i keep these so whenever i'm practicing i just put these on and uh i tie these on put my bait on this and then i don't have any hook on whenever i'm practicing i just put that into the actual soft plastic and that's how i you know shake fish off and practice and make sure that i don't hook and i don't hook them so right here are my round bin hooks you can see I keep four alts and five alts round bin hooks. I keep these in my boat at all times, just in case I want to throw a worm in a brush pile, throw a you know worm around anything. This bait right here, the the best part about throwing this hook over a straight shank hook is this hook is going to able allow you to actually rig your bait a whole lot straighter. So on a straight shank hook, it's just a lot more difficult to rig your bait perfectly straight. On these hooks right here, it's very, very easy. So if I'm throwing like a weightless worm or something like that, I'll typically use that hook right there because of how um, straight I can, I can rig it, then I get a little bit better action out of the worm. And if I'm throwing in brush piles, I feel like that hook right there is a little bit more weedless than a straight shank and i feel like i get a better fall out of that hook than i do a straight shank whenever it's falling straight down now after a fish we got noise coming from all over we got airplanes we got coyotes trying to drag my leg off we got everything coming around right now and trying to interrupt our video but we're trying to get these hooks dialed in i've actually i keep a lot of straight shank hooks i mean i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
10 packs of straight shank hooks and they're all like packs like this this is a gamakatsu hook that uh I order in bug packs of like 100, put my own hook keeper on it. That's just a little straight shank hook. Let me pull this out and show it to y'all. This little tidbit of info that's, that's pretty good. This is a straight shank hook that I use for, for flipping a little bit more finesse types of baits than if I want to flip what I do with my G-Powers. Okay, we're back. I lost my, I put my hooks in the wrong slot. That's why you don't do that. So this is actually two four alt gamakatsu flipping hooks. And you can see how much more finessey one is than the other. So whenever I'm flipping more finesse style baits, if I'm flipping a worm around, if I'm flipping, you know, any, any type of a smaller bait, like a baby D-bomb, a small baby, any type of flipping bait, I'm going to flip something a little more finessey like this one. Instead of this one, this is going to be the punching hook. When you're flipping full size, big baits, this is the hook you want to go with. If you're flipping around wood and stuff like that, I'll go with this one. So I keep a ton of different types of straight shank hooks in the boat at all times. Lots of different sizes, lots of different types, and I keep a ton of tungstens. But the thing we're gonna talk about today, the whole reason for this video is which hook is the best? Point blank, which hook is the best? If you had to pick one hook to fish with all year, leave me a comment. Which hook would you pick to fish with all year? Say, I mean, size, brand, straight shank, whatever, model number, whatever. Let me know what hook would you use to fish with all year. And for me, there's no doubt at all, it would be a straight shank four alt hook. This is the G Power. This one I know will get me through everything from punching grass on Okeechobee and boat swinging 14 and a half pounders to catching two pound smallmouth on Lake Oahe this year off, off wherever they end up being. So this, this hook will get me through everything all year long and I'm never gonna bend it out with braid. I'm never going to, you know, not have enough hook. And sometimes I might have a little bit too much hook, but I really have too much hook than not enough hook. So this is the hook that I like the best. And I'll show you why I prefer a straight shank over every other hook. So this is a Gamakatsu offset round bend hook. This is a really good hook, but you can see between this line tie right here and this hook point, there's a little bit of a gap. So, so if my mouth was the, was the roof of a fish's mouth and it ate it, you can see my hands laying down it. Whenever I pull, I'm going to instantly hook that fish right there. Okay. But I've only got this much gap. I've only got like a half an inch of gap. The reason I don't use an EWG style hook, like here, I've got, I thought I had a wobble head with the EWG style hook on it, but I don't even have one of those in here because I'm anti EWG. I just don't use them. So yeah, I don't even have that in here. Have no EWGs in the entire boat. Scratch that. Nope. No EWGs in the entire in the entire boat. So a EWG style hook, what happens with that is the line tie is actually raised so that the line tie is exactly in the in the way of the hook point. So if you're flipping, that's okay. And the reason that's okay is because the fish is facing like this and you're above them. So whenever you set the hook, the hook will actually come out the fish's mouth, rotate, and you'll hook them in the lips like this. Okay. With this hook right here, if it's in their mouth and you set the hook, you're going to hook them this deep every single time. And with this hook, I'm scared to even put my hands around this sucker. It might hook me for real. If you put this thing around the fish's mouth, you can just see how much gap is there. Like how much meat that thing is going to penetrate on the way out of you know trying to go out that fish's mouth so if this is in a fish's mouth and you're up above them and you set the hook not only is it going to try to rotate up and stick them it's going to stick them all the way out it's going to hook them go in past the barb and you're going to lose less fish like that so the reason i don't like an ewg it has to come out the fish's mouth rotate and then hook them and if it doesn't come out the fish's mouth if it does hook them back in the back of their throat it's going to go underneath the first layer of skin and whenever you try to swing those fish in the boat it's going to rip that skin out the fish is going to fall back in the water I've had that happen a bunch of times when I was flipping the EWG style hook. I would actually get the fish, try to swing them, and it would fall. It would it would rip that last layer of skin out. They'd fall back in the water. So that's the whole reason that I switched to a straight shank hook. And I feel like since then I've landed way more fish. And I feel like you know it's the only hook that I would throw all year long if it was the best. You know at, at presenting at presenting certain baits. So that's the reason that I prefer a straight shank hook. And I keep. 10 different sizes, 10 different styles, all kinds of different stuff. And I've been experimenting even more in the off season, trying to dial in exactly which one's the best for each individual bait. So that's kind of the thing that I do with it. 
Another thing that I do that some people disagree with is I always snail it every single time. I don't care if I'm flipping a worm, a small tiny worm on an eighth ounce weight with a tiny little hook, it's going to be snailed. And if I'm punching with a two ounce weight and this big four all hook right here is still going to be snailed. So I always snail 100% of the time if I'm throwing a Texas rig with a straight shank hook. So that's the hooks that I keep in the boat. Obviously, I keep some shaky heads and stuff like that. But the title of this video was which hook is the best or at least that's the concept of the video so in my opinion it's got to be the straight shank there is no second place second place might as well be in third so that's my vote straight shank let me know what y'all think down below appreciate y'all watching this let's go gig us a few with a big straight shank miss hunter let's go